Folks, in an unexpected and cowardly move, Lauren Boebert is ditching her congressional district. She's currently representing Colorado's third congressional district, which is a plus nine Republican district. Let me repeat that, a plus nine Republican congressional district. However, Lauren Boebert is so concerned about losing in the upcoming 2024 elections to Adam Frisch, who nearly defeated her in the midterms. He lost by only about 600 votes to Lauren Boebert. Lauren Boebert has decided to abandon her congressional district, and she will now be uh, running in the 4th Congressional District, which is being vacated by Ken Buck, who is leaving the House of Representatives after being so disenchanted by MAGA taking over the Republican Party and uh, Republicans in the House of Representatives refusing to state that President Joe Biden was the winner of the 2020 election. Lauren Boebert announced this news on, you guessed it, a Facebook post. We'll play you that announcement in just a moment, but here's how it's being reported by Colorado Sun. I always want to give a shout out to local media where I can. So this is from the Colorado Sun. Jesse Paul writes, Lauren Boebert will switch congressional districts to improve her chances of winning in 2024. Boebert will run in Colorado's fourth congressional district next year instead of the third congressional district because the fourth district is viewed as more favorable to Republicans. I mean, more favorable? The third congressional district's a plus nine. By the way, that tells you everything you need to know about how Republicans are so fearful of the 2024 elections. It talks about how Lauren Boebert announced on her Facebook that she'll be leaving Colorado's third congressional district running instead for Colorado's fourth congressional district because the fourth district leans 27 points towards GOP, where the third district only leans nine percentage points, that this bombshell announcement was made on Lauren Boebert's Facebook page. It talks about how she had a narrow victory in 2022 by a little more than 500 uh, or so votes, slightly under 600 votes. The article goes on to talk about the Beetlejuice incident where Lauren Boebert uh, was seen on surveillance footage fondling her then boyfriend while blowing vape smoke on people uh, at this public theater in uh, Denver. It also talks about out a lot of her other uh, foibles and her um, uh, disgusting statements that she's made and um, her general oddity and, and dangerous and out of touch uh, behavior with her congressional uh, district. It talks about how Bobert, a 37-year-old divorced mother of four boys, who is also a grandmother, lives in Garfield County near the town of Silt, which is hundreds of miles from the 4th District's boundaries. However, members of Congress don't have to live in their district, just the state the district is in, so she doesn't have to move to run for the 4th District, which she has no attachment to and which she does not live in. It talks about how Boebert had $1.4 million in her third district campaign account at the end of September, money that she can use for her run for the fourth district. But it talks about how when it comes to the fourth congressional district, since Ken Buck uh, announced uh, that he would be leaving, that's the Republican, as I mentioned at the outset of this video, currently holding that uh, congressional seat, a lot of other candidates uh, have uh, already put their uh, hat in that they're vying to replace Buck. You have uh, former state Senator Jerry Sonnenberg of Sterling. He's currently the Logan County Commissioner. You've got State Representative Richard Haltorf of Akron. You've got conservative talk radio host Deborah Flora. And then you have former state Senator Ted Harvey of Highlands Ranch. Um, the Colorado House Minority Leader Mike Lynch of Wellington is expected to enter the race in the coming days. And so Boebert's going to have to prevail in a primary there. And I guess she views her chances of prevailing in the primary in the 4th Congressional District 
to be better than her chances of defeating uh, Adam Frisch in a new campaign, in the new race for uh, 2024. It was actually 546 votes was the amount that Boebert won in 2022. And now what this article says as well is that the Republicans can try to uh, put somebody in Colorado's third congressional district that may be more palatable and Adam Frisch running against uh, Lauren Boebert's extremism may be blunted if the Republicans put in someone who's, I guess, viewed as more moderate than Lauren Boebert. But I'll take a bit of a contrarian view on things from where the Colorado Sun puts it. I mean, to me, doesn't this show anybody in the third congressional district just how phony the Republicans are? Doesn't it show them that Lauren Boebert and all and the entire Republican Party spent all of this money and effort to con them? You had Adam Frisch who wanted to represent them with dignity in 2022, and Lauren Boebert ran for a seat in a congressional district that she's running away from, that she doesn't care and never cared about her constituents. And frankly, I think that's the broader point as we get into 2024, and that's this, that these MAGA Republicans rather host podcasts and do videos and do TV shows and, I don't know, live out their fantasies of uh, being Hollywood actors that they failed at, like Lauren Boebert and like Marjorie Taylor Greene, and, and, and live these fantasies through uh, their roles in the House of Representatives while taking away our freedoms, taking away our rights, and behaving in such a bankrupt and corrupt manner. I think the voters will take notice of this in any Republican who claims that they're going to be representing the third, or I think Lauren Boebert claiming she wants to represent the fourth. How do you look at that and say that seems about right? No, these are people who are trying to dupe you. And I think the American people are going to be far more savvy to that and see what's going on. So let me show you now the video here of Lauren Boebert uh, announcing on her Facebook page that she is leaving. See you later, 3rd Congressional District in Colorado. Boebert out. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Here, play the clip. Today, I am announcing my candidacy for the 2024 Republican nomination to represent Colorado's 4th Congressional District in the United States House of Representatives. It's the right move for me personally, and it's the right decision for those who support our conservative movement. This is the right move for Colorado, for us. And there you have it, folks. Goodbye, Lauren Boebert from the 3rd Congressional District. I think this will backfire on Republicans if they think they're going to be smart and try to push some other Republican into the 3rd Congressional District and then Boebert thinks she's going to go to the 4th Congressional District. I think she loses the primary in the 4th, and I think the voters of the 3rd will see Adam Frisch the Democratic candidate as someone who has been authentic, who's been there, been in the community, has not abandoned the community, and represents stable and consistent leadership. Tell me what you think. Leave uh, your comments below. Hit the thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the Midas Touch YouTube channel and have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. We're only a few subscribers short of 2 million subs. Please subscribe right now to the Midas Touch YouTube channel for free and help us grow this unapologetically pro-democracy network.